What's up everyone? It's me Barkin. I'm here with another mod for Remote Alpha 17 and this is the Animal Logic mod. And this mod allows you to have a sort of a new interaction with your animals. Oh, they went and made love over there. Nice Taiki with your animals. And it's really really cool because it adds in a whole lot of things that I think should be in the base game such as having the ability to rename your animals. So for example, if I wanted to name this animal Emma, I can. So now I have a fox named Emma. So I've gone ahead and tamed these animals. I haven't left them with any taming beyond, I mean, any training beyond just being tamed. So I'll just train them to be hold quickly, tell Olga to do that. I've just given him level 20 in animals. So he should be able to get the job done relatively quickly, at least. All right, nice. That was 42% chance of happening. That's pretty damn high, dude, which is really, really cool. But yeah, it does a whole lot of cool things like that, such as allowing you to change the name of the animal and a few other things like being able to see the bonded animals in the caravan trading interface so you can see make sure that you're not selling a bonded animal because I don't know if that's happened for you before but it definitely has happened for me where I sold an animal thinking that this wasn't the one and in fact found out later that they were bonded to a colonist and I just lost like negative 70 mood debuff around the colony which is just terrible. It also does a few other things such as allowing you to have animal beds be turned into medical beds so for example I have an animal sleeping box over here and then I have the normal animal beds. If I go ahead and put down, if I go ahead and put down two of the same ones, like right here, you can actually see there's an option to make it medical. And then when you do it, when you make them into a medical bed, you'll, it'll give you the success chances for stuff like that, which is really cool. So as you can see, 106.45. So it's the same as having a normal bed. If I take August bed and just do that quickly, it'll tell you the exact same thing. So it's really awesome that allows you to do that. I actually really love that part of the mod. It gives you this whole new unique feeling of having a bond with the animal now that you can rename it because this is a massive part of the mod and by far my biggest and favorite part is that you now you now feel a lot more personal with the animals being able to rename them is a huge deal but them having their own beds is a massive deal so for example if you have a bonded animal in your bed so let's say Zoe over here has a bonded animal you can put down the bed and you can set Emma as the animal that sleeps in this bed and Zoe and Emma will sleep in the same bed. Well, in the same room. My bad. Unless you're into that kind of thing, Zoe. They can sleep in the same room together and that sort of thing, which is really cool. It adds this whole new, and I, I love stuff like this, adds this whole new level to Rimworld in terms of relationships and all that. And I've spoken about this mechanic a lot in Rimworld before, but it's all about the storytelling that you get from the game. And I think that being able to rename them, being able to change their beds, being able to set this to medical, it should have been in the base game definitely like absolutely the fact that you can now rename animals instead of them being gifted to you randomly because that's how it was before if you haven't used animals that much you got random names so it was really really shitty but now that you can rename them it's really cool as you can see they were sharing a bed or sharing a room sorry keep fucking that up they were sharing a room which is really cool it does a few other things as well such as you can now unforbid um, slaughtered animals, which is nice because they automatically forbid once happen once it's happened, which sucks. It's stupid. Uh, but with allow tool, you can kind of just mass forbid anyways. Calls us flint. Hopefully, no water problems. Besides that, though, it does have its own optional um, options in the mod settings. So if you go to mod settings, you have animal logic over here, and it will be alphabetical, so it should be close to the top. And you can go ahead and set this on and off, so prevent animals from eating random stuff. So you want them to eat your food, you don't want them, to, maybe you like prefer your animals to not get sick from eating crap or something like that. Predators hunting your pawns are hostile to all your factions. So for example, if you have a animal that is man hunting, the, you will have columns automatically fire on them. Animals will, will like rush to your protection, that sort of stuff, it's a really cool option. Convert eggs ruined by temperature into unfertilized chicken eggs, that's really awesome actually more fighting back against melee threats so that your animals will fight back which is cool obviously they will be wounded for a while afterwards because Rimmel just makes them wounded forever but yeah and then wildness effect on training so that's pretty cool and it updates as you as you use a slider which is really nice this is a harmony thing i think yeah i love stuff like this i think just for the fact that you can rename animals and give them beds it makes it it's something that's going to fit into all my playthroughs uh, just because just because of the fact that it adds to the storytelling element you can actually have animals and when I'm streaming I actually do name animals after people. I just I just used to remember it in my head But now you actually can which is really cool 
But besides that, that's just what the mod does. It's a lot of fun. I recommend everyone going to go give it a try at least. And I honestly would say, like, why not just have it in your game? Because being able to rename animals is nice. Don't name them after your animals in real life. I did that once. Because there used to be a mod that did similar to this in Alpha 14. Rip Caesar. Anyways, have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all tomorrow. I will be streaming every day for the next week if you want to come and hang out. Twitch link in the description. Come come, uh, watch the stream and have some fun. Anyways, bye-bye, everyone. Hey, you. Thanks so much for making it to the end of my video. I really, really appreciate it. Editing videos is both my hobby and my passion, and with that in mind, I've decided to open up a Patreon if you'd like to support me besides in the amazing ways that my subscribers already usually do. I've got loads of perks and benefits, including having your own personally custom-made colonist being one of my default colonists in the mod showcases, special roles on Discord, joining me while I stream, monthly Q&As and podcasts, I've got it all, come take a look. All support is always appreciated, monetarily or not. If you're a subscriber, then be sure to hit the little bell over here to always be up to date with videos I push out, and head over to the Discord if you ever want to have a deep and meaningful chat with me. And last but not least, I hope you're having an amazing day.